Hey guys, what is going on? It is Tuesday. It's almost 12 o'clock. I have the day off, which is fantastic. Um, I haven't even gotten dressed. Still in my pajamas. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew are coming over today at some point. Um, Amanda's got to borrow some things from me, and then I think we're going to take um, Bubby down to where Don works because Bubby is obsessed with loaders and, you know, equipment and stuff like that. So I think Don's going to let him sit in the loader and maybe take him for a ride, which would be really cool. Um, so that will be exciting. And then other than that, I'm just home, staying home. I won't go anywhere. Like, the Dusty's just, he's like, nope, not going anywhere. Natalie's over here. She has been chasing a fly, or trying to chase a fly, I should say. Um, so yeah, just chilling at home. Um, waiting for my sister-in-law to get here. And, you know, I ran Frank this morning, so that was productive. I dusted off the TV thing. That was productive. Um... What else did I do? I don't know. Not much. I've been watching YouTube, so, you know, just bumming it here at the house. Michaela's finally at the hole. What is up? It is Saturday, Saturday. I think it's Saturday. It's it is Saturday. Like, why do I like? Why does my brain think it's something else? But it is Saturday. It's six o'clock in the afternoon. I did a little bit of filming. I tried a new makeup look. I need a little bit more practice with it. But um, I was watching Jade Libra. I don't know what's going on with this piece of hair right here. We're going with it. Um, I was watching Jade the Libra, who is incredible. Um, she's got a very awesome witchy vibe about her. Not like goth witchy, but like, I don't know. She's very much like the witchy aesthetic I would love to have. So I was watching a video when she was using uh, some pretty cool colors. And yellow has always scared me, so I'm like, I want to try it. So this in the inside is supposed to be yellow. It's coming out more, um, like, tan. Um, so I need to play with it some more, but it is a yellow color. I'm going to show you. So I used the Anastasia Subculture Palette. It's got some really cool... Um, colors in it. Very grungy colors, I would say. Um, so I use this palette. Let me put you down. That's not going to work. I'll put you like here so you can see it. See, I even still have 
So let me show you what I used. I still don't understand what's going on with this piece of hair. I have no idea. Um, so for in like the yellow part, I used um, Edge and New Wave. So I started with New Wave because it kind of looks like a more, I don't know, it kind of looks like a yellow. That's not a yellow. Now that I'm looking at it, that's not a yellow, which explains to me why my look looks like good looks. But it does kind of look yellow on camera, on film. I don't know. It's a weird color. So I used that at first, and then I decided, well, it wasn't yellow enough for me. So I went in with this color, which is Edge. So I did that. I did Edge. Uh, let me swatch those for you. I'm just going to put them on my fingers so you can see. So this is Edge right here. I guess it's more like a greeny. It's kind of coming up like a green brown, I guess. And then this is New Wave right here. So Edge and New Wave. Um, and then I went in with Rowdy, which is like a, it's, it's a purpley color, but it's kind of coming up, I guess I'll do it this way. It kind of looks not so purple. It looks purple in the pan, but it's really dark. So I used that on the outside, and I tried my best. I'm not the good... I'm not the best at it. I do need to practice, but I try to blend it as best as I possibly can. Like, I really like how this side came out. It's a little bit more, more subtle than this side. But I also like my wing liner better on this side than I like this side. So I'm conf conflicted what side I like best. And then in my inner corner, which you might be able to pick up a little bit, I used a sparkly one. So this is adorned and it's so soft and buttery. I love it. I love it so much. Look at how pretty that is. Again, I don't have the bright camera to pick this stuff up, but I used that. Um, so those are the colors that I used. Again, this is the subculture palette if you're interested in it. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's very different, I feel like, than what I'm used to playing around with. Yeah, you can definitely, like, the camera's definitely, if I look in the mirror, it looks okay to me, but as I'm looking in the cam, or in the, looking in the mirror, it looks good to me. If I'm looking in the camera, this eye, the rowdy turned out more dark than on this side, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like this side where it's kind of a little bit more, I don't know, the rowdy is more subtle, I guess? Or I just did a much better job blending? I'm not sure. Or do you like this side? I don't know. But I like the look. I'm going to play around with it some more. And I'm going to start playing with colors that I'm afraid of, like, like yellow. I'm intimidated by yellow, and I'm intimidated by blues and greens. Like, there's a really awesome green in here um, called Untamed. Do you see it? I love that color. So I think maybe that would be really cool in this. Like, if I did the yellow and then did the green on the outside instead of rowdy. I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist, so I just like to play with the makeup.